Man, that sounds awesome. No feedback today, Dan. No. Hey guys, welcome to that pedal show. Dan here. Uh, Mick here, and this used to be called Pick and Mix. It's now called? Pedal Jams. Pedal Jams. I don't know. Uh, we'll uh, see what you think. Yeah. We, we think the reason people weren't watching Pick and Mix is because it's called Pick and Mix, and it sounded a bit like a, a compilation show or something. Right. Ah. So we've called it Pedal Jams. Like because the Friends episode that just, they were lazy and they thought if I was a day off, they'd just put a bunch of things together. Right. That could be any Friends episode, could it? <laughs> Or well, EastEnders when they go to the seaside. Everyone's on holiday. Anyway. And they're all reminiscing. Yeah. Do you remember Do you... that time when we went to, to the pub and we all got into a fight? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so that's reason one. Reason two is uh, it, the Pick and Mix format, as was, we take four pedals and we work through them, and then uh, that was that. But now, through the amazingness of technology, not at all. We're going to play over some music for you. So um, to put them into context a little bit, we've done one already. People really liked it. So we're going to keep doing it. They're going to be called Pedal Jams. For how long is anyone's guess? Because we listen to you. We do. We love you. <laughs> what, the, what are the pedals this week, Daniel? So we have the Octahive from Beatronics. Uh, we have the Tate FX Antares Overdrive. We have the Black Fountain from Old Blood Noise Endeavors. Such a cool name. It's so cool. And the uh, Crazy Tube Circuits Sidekick, which is a multi-FX uh, device, basically. Sure. Octahive, then. What what can we say about Beatronics other than their stuff just looks awesome? It really does. I haven't plugged into a thing of theirs yet that I haven't gone, whoa. Yeah. What was what were we were playing on the synth show? We had the Swarm. Oh, my goodness. Yeah, Swarm yeah. Harm, uh, Fuzz Harmonizer. Fuzz Harmonizer. Anyway, anyway, yes. Okay, Octahive. Um, in the tradition of octa, octave fuzzes, it has fuzz and it has octave. Now then, Daniel, if you would like to take the reins. Oh. Oh! <laughs> okay, the two amps today. We have the Victory V140 Super Duchess and the matchless HC130 head. There's no prize for reading the name off the front panel. <laughs> okay. I didn't know... I didn't know what you'd put there uh. because the last show we had the Marshall there and I thought, that's not the Marshall. Okay. <laughs> that's why I get the Marshall wrong because it's yeah, not it doesn't on the say front. on the front panel. Right. Uh, I, so, I, think, I think this is the overdrive mode. Right. So, Ganyi, this is these are the sound of the amps. So, we've got Preamp level. Should okay, we, we that's play. And then we've got, and then we've got honey, which I think is fuzz. Ah, oh, what? Or let me just check. Let me just check what honey is. Honey is sweet, sweet nectar. Uh, set circuit gain. Pre sets the insert. Gain, yeah, so it's just two gains. So if we do what you should do, which is this. Everything at two o'clock? No, everything full up. Okay. Give it a go. Oh, man. Come on. Nasty, spitty. And that's, the octave isn't on there no, yet, is no, it? No. And some humbucket. Awesome. Full on, that is awesome. spitty, fuzzy, nasty mess. So if we bring it back down to something more sensible. Actually, we need to speed up because we, we have- Oh, sorry. We've got to, um, we, we need to get to jamming. Okay, we're halfway through the first pedal. Yeah. Okay. Um, so something more sensible overdrive wise. It 
still has that transistor gatey thing going on, even at the low gains. You can still hear it coming in. It's great. Really killer, actually. Really, really love that. So then, obviously, you can switch the octave in. So groovy. It's great. Absolutely killing. Like that a lot. Wow. Sorry. Pedal board um pedal board things going on in the Yeah, brain. no, are you are you redoing your board now as well? Well, I don't know. It's a bit big. It's physically a bit big. Right. Um Antero is overdrive from Tate Effects. Tate Effects, um, hello Stuart, if you're watching. Um British company. Uh, makes a bunch of pedals. This is what's the matter? Nothing. What? Nothing at all. What's the matter? Nothing at all. No. It's it's I've, my childish mind. It's, it's, it's at the end of the day, my brain has gone to places it shouldn't do. Because I think it's a bit big. <laughs> it's been a while since you've heard that, mate. Let's be honest. Twenty percent, apparently, as you get 20%, older. Twenty percent. Yeah. Twenty percent. <sighs> Mid pushed overdrive, and I think we all kind of know what that means. Inspired by some 80s pedals, Japanese ones. We're going to assume they're kind of green, probably. Sure. So, um, Don't make them angry. But interestingly, it has uh, a clean blend. Mm -hmm. So you can blend your clean sound in. And it has, what did he say? Some kind of studio quality op amp. Okay. I don't know what that means, but anyway. Um, other than it's probably not a JRC 4558D, but it might be. If this makes more of a difference as you turn the gain up to there, for example, so right? Um, maybe because what what will happen is, as it gets, as the pedal gets more overdriven, it might be useful to have more of your clean sound in there. This might be loud. I know where this would be awesome. If you were hitting this in the front with the octahive, and then you let the sound of the octahive go through as well. So if you do this. Very nice. We did two shows today. One was on ambient tones and one was on uh, synthesis. Mm -hmm. All I can say is I'm happy again. Good. <laughs> good. I know, it was good fun. But that's 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 Mickland is what that is. I like Mickland. Do you want to shrine on that, Dan? I'd love to have shrinage. <laughs>
Man. Yeah, very cool. Not very, a bad combination, though. No, it's really, really Not nice. Not a bad combination. Okay, um, Black Fountain, Old Blood Noise Endeavours. Mm -hmm. Oil Candelay. We don't know much about Oil Candelays, or I don't, anyway. Oil Candelays. Only that we've uh, got the Adineco up there, the uh, Catlin bread. bread one. Um, yeah. Uh, oil Candelay, different kind of delay. Mm. You know much about them? I don't know a great deal about them. I've, I've never never heard a real one. Oh, sorry, never played a real one. Um, but they they use the the oil in the can is basically the dielectric for the for the delay. Fluid. There's a control in here called fluid. Controls the modulation on the delay signal. Right. So that's sort of what you're saying, is it? Yeah. The, well, the as the because the oil moves around in the can, that gives it the modulation as well. Yeah. Three modes, modern, emulates classic long delay oil can units such as the Morley EDL, Telray Model 10 and Fender Echoverb. Telray. Organ. That's the one. Based on the Telray Deluxe Organ, Fender Dimension 4 and the short delay oil can, can units up to a 211 milliseconds. And vintage, uh, similar in function to the modern but has a grainy vibe. Yeah, it's not a sound I know much about. I think we should. Um, I think we should get a bunch, including okay. the Adam Echo and this, and do a separate show on it. Okay. But I love it. It's super vibey. Super vibey.
That's really cool. I've not heard anything like that. I don't, know. I, I don't know if that's what they got used for, that sort of thing, but it's a really cool sound. Yeah. It's kind of like it, it, like an analog delay. It sits right in under. Yeah, so much more bottom end down those repeats. Yes, that would be nice to have some sort of filter. Mm. I wonder if the fluid thing has got anything to do with that. Anyway, 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 anyway. Very cool. Uh, be nice to, I think we should get into that into a yeah. full show. Yeah. I'd um, love to try see and learn a bit one. more about those things. One an original some, one. Yeah, wouldn't it be amazing? One of them in the UK has got an original one. Do they? Be cool. do, do people debate about what oil sounds best? Uh, I think there's so few of them out there now doing the thing. I like, would a more viscous oil sound better than a? Would Castrol R sound better than oh. Magnatec ninety forty? There's some. I, I don't know. I I, I have read. There's a there's a specific thing now that guys are using to replace the oil in their oil candelays. Let's do it. Um, if if you're an oil candelay person, please get in touch. Yeah, and uh, we will do that. Lovely. Okay, the sidekick from tra Crazy Tube Circuits. Uh, this is three effects in one. We've got our modulation, which we can switch between across and a flanger. We have a delay and a reverb. Uh, so Mick, if you would please have shrugage. Uh, I'm going to change guitars. Okay. I just feel like it. You do that. You express yourself. Um, we've recently acquired this Gretsch. Um, we've done a show on Gretsch guitars. We recently acquired this. We dinged it on the way out. Smacked the headstock of the guitar on it. So as he was leaving, we um, did a deal. Can't sell that now, can you, mate? No. Uh, it's got the Broadtron pickups, which aren't completely like Filtertrons. They're not as, they don't sound as kind of traditional as Filtertrons. Right. So, but we like it's it. It's chambered the guitar as well, isn't it? It is, yep. as all Gretsch solid bodies right. were. But we both kind of, we both dig it. Yeah. It's a great guitar. loud yeah plenty loud uh the last we have uh either a shimmer or a plate reverb or an exciter i hear just hear those without any um any delay for a sec any uh, overdrive i mean yeah <laughs> Can you affect on the delay? Can you affect any, uh, is it time and yeah, depth? Yeah. Time, okay. depth and, and level. Yeah, so no EQ on the delay. No. Nope. nope. Then we have the reverb. Yeah. Just going to turn the reverb off in the victory amp. And okay. Okay. 
So there's a plate. Mm -hmm. There's a shimmer. This is the exciter. Oh, I like that. It's like it's got a pre-delay on it, or something, is it? The other thing about the sidekick is that it has a DI out. So you could, uh, if this is at the end of your pedal chain, you could run that straight into a desk or some other. I'm going to play something and Fraser is going to mix up and down between the mic'd amps and the uh, and the DI out, yeah? Okay, yep. Uh, just make sure that we have the speaker simulator is on. Okay, cool. Have schwangage. Why don't you have some schwangage, oh, Daniel? Okay, that's very kind. Please, after that's you. That's very kind. Okay. Lot in it. There's a lot in it. Shall we have some? Um, let's jam. Let's jam. Let's jam. Let's do it. Mm, we need to pick two pedals each, actually. <laughs> 